Thank you very much. It's good to stand with you here, brothers and sisters, in solidarity with our partners in Wisconsin. Yeah. Yeah. My name's Stephen Box, and I'm a dreamer. I believe in the American dream. The one where you get up in the morning and go to work. Then you get paid for that work. And if you're sick, you get to go to a doctor. You send your kids to school. They get educated. And after school, they get to go to a park. You know, the kind that are still open. Or a library. The kind where you can still get in the front door. They walk streets that are protected by people who deliver on public safety commitments. Yeah. Streets that actually work. Yeah. In neighborhoods that are safe. In homes we're able to own. So that's what I believe is the American dream. And I believe it's endangered. Our city is in a crisis. And our state is in a crisis. Country. And our country's in a crisis. And they would have us believe that it's a budget crisis. And I would contend that it's a crisis of leadership. So we have until Friday to send a very clear message to our federal government on what we expect in terms of leadership. Now they would have us believe that we're the villains, because after all, we expect jobs and wages and health care and education and the opportunity to live the dream. But I would offer that they're the villains, because they don't know the difference between corporations and people. They would have us believe that the solution is an economic solution, one where we get business friendly. And I would offer to you that the real opportunity is for us to get people friendly. Yeah. Children friendly. Yeah. Librarian friendly. Yeah. Teacher friendly. Yeah. Healthcare worker friendly. Yeah. Police officer friendly. Yeah. Firefighter friendly. There you go. I'm starting to sense some friendly people here today. <laughs> and I think that when we support the great city mandate, that then becomes business friendly. But it starts with people friendly. So I would offer this. The great city mandate is a commitment to public safety, public works, public health, and public education. The people who deliver those services are our heroes. They're our partners in greatness. And if we're going to move forward as a city and as a state and as a country, we need to reject either or proposals and look for a win-win solution where we partner with our heroes in greatness. So ladies and gentlemen, my name is Stephen Box and I'm a dreamer. How about you? Yeah! And I'm here because I believe in the American dream. How about you? Yeah! So I ask you to join me, not just today, as we walk this sidewalk safely, I might add, as on behalf of the senior lead officer who asked me to remind you to walk safely. But I ask you, also ask you to walk loudly, not just today, but all this week. And that includes calling everybody you know. If you call five people and ask them to call five people, Pretty soon we'd have some serious calling going on, not just here in Los Angeles, not just here in California, but all the way across the country. And that's what we need to do. We need to call on our leadership to act like leaders and to deliver based on our priorities, the ones that put people first. So thank you for joining me in the American dream. Woo!